Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at the RPCS3 Android version 6 alpha build which was released just yesterday and this is a major update because it has lot of changes which I'll be talking about in today's video we'll be checking out the gameplay best settings and even brand new features that have been added but before getting started if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as I upload similar videos on my channel let's get started so right here is the changelog of RPCS3 emulator from the alpha version 5 to the alpha version 6 the first change is improving settings UI. Afterwards, log sharing option has been added. Initial game folder support has also been added. Folder import support has been added. So when you tap on the plus button inside the RPCS3 Android, you can now import the game folders as well. Black screen has been fixed, optimize the build size. So the RPCS3 emulator size has also been decreased. Along with that, button to add wrap has been added to fix missing key dialog. So this is pretty amazing. It is a very helpful feature because previously you had to do this manually and it was a bit troublesome. Fix this emulator on Android 12 implementer sticks with pressed L3 slash R3 buttons have been added. Along with that support for Bluetooth gamepads have been added. This is such an amazing inclusion because now finally you can connect your wireless Bluetooth controllers like the PS5 controller and play PS3 games on your Android device. So the updates are getting massive and massive and it is definitely going in the right directions of improvements. Once you update this emulator to the latest version, let's just go ahead and go to settings. And here you will be able to see as mentioned before share lock button has been added if you want to share logs to the developer in terms of advanced settings you will be able to see the ui has been changed so now the buttons are a bit larger and everything has been made a bit more optimized in terms of visuals we have input output settings as well where we can select keyboard controls basic or not show move cursor etc but actually this keyboard control is useless because this is from our pcs 3s pc version anyways let's just go ahead and go back in terms of video performance overlay i have set it as 20 font size because we want a bigger performance overlay along with that renderer is vulcan resolution will set it to 720 by 576 other than that i have already made a video talking about the best settings so we'll keep it as default vsync has been disabled and stretch to display area has been enabled now in today's video we'll test out gta 5 once again the game that i tested out yesterday and it did actually work but only for few seconds i want to see if it works after this update of rpcs3 android everything else we can keep it as default let's go back and let's start testing out rpcs3 emulator right away i still can't believe that there have been so much huge improvements to be honest you'll be able to see l3 r3 buttons have been added in my opinion i think the buttons are a bit too large they can be a bit smaller other than that everything is good because just take a look at this it's almost the size of the analog stick i don't know why but the analog stick is lagging quite a lot as you will be able to see and here at the top left corner now you will be able to see the fps bar very clearly and immediately our gta 5 is successfully booting inside this version of our pcs3 emulator for android and i have to say the improvements have been massive like just a month ago this was literally nothing the emulator did not even exist or even boot any sort of games and within just a single month the main developer of rpcs3 has done amazing improvements like porting a ps3 emulator for android devices officially it is such a big deal like seriously this wasn't possible before and as you will be able to see gta 5 is loading now in my last video when i tested out this game uh, it started loading very quickly once the shaders are compiled the game progresses very quickly and there we go the game crashed for some reason and i'm noticing one thing again and again buttons are a bit laggy now as you'll be able to see i press it and it shows it after a second i think that needs to be fixed because it doesn't feel fluent at all just take a look at this after a second it shows that i have pressed that key and no guys unfortunately the game keeps on crashing i tried it multiple times it's not working so we'll be testing out god of war 3 instead let's scroll down and enable right color buffers and read color buffers and by the way now finally the settings actually work previously the settings did not work now that i have selected the 720 by 576 resolution it actually works it doesn't reset the setting which is very helpful let's go back once again and try out god of war 3 demo version let's hope that this works and here we go guys god of war 3 has successfully booted now this game's fps is all over the place sometimes i'm getting 60 fps sometimes i'm getting only 10 fps but as all the shaders have been compiled I think you need to indeed a clean setup after updating to this version because I think the cache is all messed up so I gotta remove cache and then I'll be back. Now that the cache has been removed let's restart God of War and this time all the shaders will be loaded from the scratch which means the loading time will be a bit more but what matters the most is that the game should run. 
games were just crashing before and it took some amount of time but finally everything has been completed. God of War 3 is about to start and as you will be able to see compiling shaders so this time it will take a bit longer to start this game because all the shaders have to be loaded from scratch which will cause lagging and freezing issues and no guys unfortunately it crashed once again at the same moment. So currently I do believe that uh, RBCS 3's Android version 6.0 alpha build is not working on my Android device for some reason. So I am not really sure everything is perfect like all the drivers etc but it's just not working so do let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think might be causing this issue and let me know if it works on your android device or not anyways that's going to be it for today's video though thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time peace out